there are two aspects here so one is um, suicides which are self harm with the intention of dying uh, so the intentionality is very very important here there are also non suicidal self harm so there is this demarcation in it so we need to look at suicides with the intention of death so if a person is having a very strong desire to die and he or she has severe depression uh, and there is absolutely no support system and uh, the person has made a will has made a uh, clear plans of this is what i'm going to do uh, to you know take my life and he uh, the person does this at an hour where there is absolutely no um, help which is available maybe late in the night at maybe 2 am when everybody is sleeping and when nobody can actually find out that this person has done this uh, maybe after writing a letter and all of that in, indicates to us that the intentionality is quite strong okay having said that we definitely need to help that person and if by chance if you see that this particular individual is depressed is sad talking about death is irritable agitated not interacting so much then it is definitely a strong red flag please take uh, you know notice and take the bring the person or take the person to the nearest mental health professional the other side of it is non suicidal self harms is where people look at self harm as a coping mechanism so we see that in different uh, age groups so it need not be only in courts the attention seekers definitely they are not attention seekers and this is a very very strong message i would like everyone to understand that people who hurt themselves are definitely not attention seekers they are indicating that they are in psychological pain and they need help for it so what happens is when you talk to them they say the psychological pain because of all of these stressors it could be academic it could be relationship it could be family it could be occupational it could be mixture of everything the psychological pain is so strong that they do not find a way out and they think a physical pain would ease it out and that's the reason why they would want to hurt themselves so if at all somebody talks about psychological pain it is very very important that as their friends as their family members allow them to talk give them that listening and that listening many many times allows them to ground helps them to reach out to you uh, and then then they are willing to come back and take mental health uh, a professional's help